Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I am Dorios. I know it's been a long time since I uploaded a video like this. I believe I have all the footage that you guys saw me remodel the house technically twice. Like, you saw what I did it the first time, I didn't like it, so I remodeled it a sec second time. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen it already. If you haven't, though, this is what our house looks like now in this game. So it's really, really cool. It's like a little bit more modern, like a mint version of these other houses with like the whole, like, I think this just looks really cool. I like it a lot better. Our basement hasn't changed at all. But as you guys can see, when you come on in here, you see like this nice, like very mint decorated area. This is the new door for the basement. So obviously it is one of the bookshelf doors. I think it looks pretty great. I found a bunch of like modernist paintings. I put these lights above them. Thought that looked really cool. I had the biggest nightmare with platforms, I swear you guys. But then look at our new nice little modern kitchen. I might decorate some stuff a little bit more, a little bit differently. This is the new walkway down. I actually don't think I ever finished moving everything around properly. But yeah, so this is the new walkway down. And then obviously we still have all of this stuff, which all none of this stuff has changed. I might add some stuff down here or something though eventually. Because it is Strangerville, she is a mad scientist, and I have a little plan. Um, so the last time you saw like actual gameplay, it was also this roof is like a little bit glitched and I couldn't figure out why. Upstairs we have this bathroom, which I just realized that those are in. That's fine. <laughs> the plants are growing again. They're striking back once again. So here's kind of like the guest slash kids bathroom. Here's the master bathroom. Here's the parents bedroom. And here is the kids bedroom making use of the new bunk beds, which I was very, very excited about. And here is like another little den area. Like watch TV, do stuff like that. A little bit less formal than down here, which is like kind of just like a reading area if you want to read books or something. Does this function? I don't know if that counts as a bookshelf. So we might not have a bookshelf in this house yet, but we'll make one. Everything obviously just got moved down to out there. And yeah, that's the basics of the house. Today I do have a slight plan. We do want to try to at least figure out the Chief of Mischief's... Like, we're on rank 3 out of 4. We really just need to do it. Clog drains at 3 different households and achieve level 10 of the Mischief skill. Right now, our sims are just very, very hungry, however. So, Margarita, get on cooking. I did not make use... I think you guys... Can you still use the fridge? You can still use this fridge. It's like something I've been doing in more modern-esque looking builds. And I really enjoy it. Really, really enjoy it. That's interesting. It shows like inside of there. <laughs> Whatever reason. Where is Margarita right now? Hello, Margarita. Huh. Hopefully you guys don't hear it in my microphone as well. You might be able to hear it a little bit in my microphone. I'm so sorry if you can. But yeah, so I'm very excited that we're finally back in this series. I am in the works getting it worked out on a new series as well. It's another generation series, essentially. It's a little bit different, though. I don't know if it'll necessarily last 10 generations, so that's kind of cool. But the whole concept is super, super cool, and I am super, super duper excited about it. So that's something that we're going to go ahead and do. Let's go use the restroom really quick. We also need to finish the periodic table. So that's something else, or like the elemental table, which we are really close to doing. I still haven't looked up what those last three elements are. I forgot that whims were a thing, and then someone, like... Talked about it the other day. Like, my boyfriend's been looking up a bunch of different things, like random aspirations and stuff like that. And we can have whims. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do. I am currently offline. That is fine. I don't care, because I don't need to be online right now. But yeah, I forgot that we could do whims. So I'm very, very excited about that, guys. Very excited about that. Something else, um, as like an update, just in general, for everybody. I am doing live streams now. I'm doing pretty much daily live streams over on Twitch. I am going to be up, starting to upload all those soon onto a second YouTube channel. I need to get it worked out on how I need to like edit and like the whole process of all that stuff. But yeah, I will be doing that very, very soon. What does she want to do? Shout forbidden words. Click on the sim and choose shout forbidden words. Okay, I don't really want to do that because like we only have our husband grill tofu dogs or veggie burgers or browse some PDF for ideas. Oh, I forgot with all these different things, I literally used up all of our money. So this is a very, very expensive house. It's crazy. It's absolutely craziness. Oh, I, I think I added this actually, this like a little Illuminati picture. I don't think 
Or it might have been. I don't remember for sure. But yeah, something that I kind of think Margarita would want to do, um, just being the crazy scientist that she is, I think that Margarita kind of wants a daughter. She kind of wants a daughter. She doesn't just want any sim to be her daughter, though. I think she wants to recreate, essentially, Caleb to create, like, her daughter or maybe even herself. She might just clone herself for her daughter. I don't know if that's possible, but we're going to try it. <laughs> I think we're going to try to clone ourselves today as Margarita. Go crazy. Go ham. Margarita just got a new quirk. She has the refined palate quirk. As a celebrity, Margarita has become accustomed to excellent quality meals. Eating food that doesn't meet her, like, her lofty quality expectations will make her increasingly uncomfortable. Oh no. <laughs> That's not good because I don't know how often we're going to actually be able to be creating these meals specifically. Where are you? You're asleep down here. You can come up here. Let's go ahead and sleep up here. And let's go ahead and have you... Where are you eating at? Okay. I don't know why I didn't just grab the food that your mom had for you. But whatever. Whatever. It's all good. It's all good. Um, After you finish eating that, we're going to go ahead and have you sleep. As no, don't go talk to your father. Sleep. Margarita was born to wield a hammer, should she finally embrace- Yeah, let's embrace that we like candiness, so when we fix things, we get a boost in fun. Um, let's go ahead and troll to forums, because that's what we need to do. To go ahead and continue with everything. More choices. Um, socialize. Troll the forums. Um, hello? Get up. No! What the heck? Check dust levels over here or something. We need to do that for a win, so that's perfect. We also need a practice analysis, I'm sure. Floor level is clean, sparkling surroundings. Awesome. So we do have the dust pack now as well. I also have the country kitchen pack, which I'm very excited to use eventually. We will probably be moving each generation to like a different house. So this is just the mint generation's like house. You should try acting your actual age. I mean, honestly though, he's probably a couple hundred years old. So that would be nice. Let's go ahead and join Margarita off to work because obviously we're going to do that. I'll let you guys know if anything crazy happens. Okay, so Margarita is now done with work. Nothing too crazy happened today, except we got our next promotion. So Margarita did a fantastic job. Now she has a promotion. We have been promoted to extraterrestrial explorer. We will now make an additional 32 simoleons per hour for a grand total of two. 147 simoleons per hour. We've received a 17, 1720 promotion out of this world desktop and new clothes. Our shift is Wednesday at 10 a.m. So we came home with a whopping 2,516 simoleons just from today's work. So we are now at the top level of our scientist career. We're at level 10. So we have officially completed the scientist career. Look at her goggles and stuff. I've never, I don't think I've ever seen her. Are, are those new? Are those part of the new outfit for our crazy scientist career? That's really cool. I know it might be bad, but I'm going to send a ton of stuff to the Geo Council because we just need a bunch of new things. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and attempt to clone ourselves. So here we go. Here is our attempt to clone ourselves. Attempt number one. Whoop. And it failed? Looks like something went wrong. Obviously, Margarita's a bit shocked because she tried to clone herself and I'm guessing it didn't go quite as planned. Remember, Margarita wanted to clone herself and she wanted like a child version of herself. But things don't always go quite to plan. Instead, Margarita got Peyton. And lo and behold, Peyton is not quite the same as a child version of Margarita. She is much, much different. She is dressed much different. She is actually somehow a spellcaster. So Mag Margarita has given birth, or she has created a spellcaster by accident. She might have mixed the wrong kind of serums, and maybe Margarita's been dabbling in a little bit of, like, magic herself. So that means we now have a spellcaster in the family tree, which now we have a glimmer stone for Peyton. So Peyton is going to be the elder spellcaster in the family. She is not a vampire like her two younger brothers who are also just 
One of them is an actual child. Rocco is the only actual child in this game. Everyone else that's a child in this game is actually a clone. So, she is another clone. Um, Margarita didn't quite get it right, unfortunately, to her dismay. But I think this might spice things up a little bit. We now have Peyton, but we have no idea what to do with Peyton because there's definitely, as you guys can see in our house, not really any room for Peyton to stay anywhere. We don't really have room for her. And so, yeah, like, Margarita just doesn't really know what to do. And so I think Margarita is probably going to go ahead and lock her daughter down here in the basement. Maybe not lock her in the basement, but, like, we're probably going to make a bed and everything for her down here because we don't really have anything else that we can do for her. That's something new and crazy and exciting. We now have a different occult sim in our family tree. <laughs> a spellcaster, wow. Let's go ahead and really quickly build Peyton a, like, a room. Um, again, I think we're gonna have, like we're gonna literally, Margarita's like, um, I don't really want you, you're going into the basement. So Peyton is not going to have the happiest upbringing in the world. So that's going to be another interesting aspect to it. Okay, so I just finished building her room. It's kind of completely different from her actual aesthetic. Her room... I don't know what that is. It's probably something haunting because we just added a bunch of like magic stuff in here. Reviewing the footage, I'm pretty sure it's Margarita getting abducted by aliens again. Margarita, please stop being abducted by aliens. This happens every single night. Her room is very purple, black, there's some warm tones in the wood, it's completely opposite of like what her color and persona is. So yeah, she has a bunch of magic stuff, she has her little journal. So this is like a really cool, just like little witch's room, I guess, for her. It's a very strange room in this house, it doesn't match anything else, but it's, it's to show stuff that's going to be coming eventually and very soon, hopefully. I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode of The Sims 4 Not So Very Challenge. We literally only played through one day. It was a pretty quick episode. For me, it wasn't, but for you guys, it probably was. Hope you guys all enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all next time on my channel. See ya. Bye.